Hi everyone, welcome back to the Demystifying Research channel. Today, we will be walking you through what nanorobots are and how they are being used clinically to deliver drugs in a precise fashion. What is nanotechnology? Nanotechnology is a division of science and engineering where technology is created using nanomaterials. Nanomaterials are structures that have at least one dimension on the nanometer scale, which ranges from one to 100 nanometers long. This technology can then be applied in ways to aid in human health. How is it used in healthcare? Nanotechnology can be used for healthcare in a plethora of ways. This includes imaging, disease diagnosis, and for what we will be discussing in this video, drug delivery. Now, before we get into what advantages nanorobots bring to drug delivery, let's go over what is being most used on the market today, which are traditional drugs or antibiotics. These antibiotics are typically given to patients orally and usually come in a capsule or even tablet form. They contain fine particles which are enclosed or compressed, and when consumed, the particles are eventually taken up and absorbed into the bloodstream. These particles can kill or block large quantities of unwanted bacteria. However, these particles are limited in the number of shapes that they can create, which limits them to only being able to target broader areas within the body sometimes killing wanted bacteria in the body, or even just rendering them unable to penetrate and kill some pesky unwanted bacteria. Nano-based antibiotics contain nanoparticles instead. The drugs as a whole are delivered through similar routes to traditional antibiotics, yet they are able to fight off unwanted bacteria in a more precise manner. This is because these nanoparticles can be manipulated to form an expansive set of shapes at the molecular level that can penetrate certain cells or bacteria much more accurately. On a broad spectrum, traditional antibiotics struggle with fighting against gram-negative bacteria, whereas nanoparticles have shown impacts against both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. To further expand on the differences between the two, we will start with the topic of bioavailability. Bioavailability is the proportion of a drug that enters into the circulation when introduced into the body. Compared to drugs containing nanoparticles, traditional antibiotics with fine particles are seen as having a much lower bioavailability. Fine particle-based drugs have also been shown to exhibit potential toxic side effects, whereas nanoparticle drugs have been shown to deliver a decreased level of toxicity due to their accuracy. Fine particles are also much larger in size compared to nanoparticles, and they typically are delivered in higher and more unstable dosages, while nanoparticle-based drugs come in much smaller and more stable dosages. All these factors correlate to nanoparticle-based drugs having the ability to cover a high, higher surface area of their target in the body relative to the volume of the drug that needs to be delivered. They have higher dissolution rates in the body, meaning they dissolve in the body much quicker compared to fine particle-based drugs. And as we alluded to earlier in the video, the nanoparticle drugs are able to penetrate their target in the body much more effectively. So why exactly is it that these nanoparticles have the advantages that they do? Or for better terms, how do they work? Well, as we discussed earlier, these nanoparticles are able to manipulate or copy all of the shapes of many common biological molecules in the body. For example, liposomes, micelles, dendromers, so on and so forth. What this allows for is the actual medicine to be precisely delivered to a target tissue of choice in the body. So take liposomes, for example. These are artificial spherical vesicles that look similar to a thin walled sac filled with fluid. These liposomes can be modified with different proteins or antibodies to change the surface characteristics. After modification, these artificial liposomes can carry a therapeutic drug inside of them and altogether they can pass through the membrane layers of different cells as one whole unit. This is super advanced stuff that traditional antibiotics just can't do, or at least certainly not as well. A clinical example that better illustrates the difference between a traditional antibiotic and a nanomedicine version of the drug is the comparison of doxorubicin and doxal, or doxorubicin liposomal. Doxorubicin is a common chemotherapy drug that is prescribed along with other chemotherapy agents to many patients with a wide variety of cancers. 
The way it works is by slowing or stopping the growth of cancer cells. It essentially does this by blocking a specific enzyme called topoisomerase 2 in the cancer cells that helps them divide and spread throughout the body. This all sounds very good, however, when this drug is delivered to patients, it typically won't just do this to the cancer cells, but many healthy cells that are neighboring the cancer cells. In particular, this drug has been found to do some serious damage at times to patients, heart tissues, or muscles, which can lead to heart failure down the line. So DOXA was created to deliver the benefits of the drug and mitigate the negatives of doxorubicin. It delivers essentially the same drug, an enzyme blocker, yet it does so by delivering the drug more directly to the target cells, while avoiding the patient's healthy cells at a higher rate. Here's a clip of a modified nanodrug in action, binding to a target cancer cell, getting carried inside of it, and eventually degrading, releasing the drug in the heart of the cancer cell, attacking it effectively. If you'd like to watch this video in full, we encourage you to check out the full video created by the University of New South Wales Institute for Molecular Science on YouTube. So to conclude the video, we will go over a brief summary of what we just talked about. Nanotechnology and nanorobots are technology made on a nanoscale through the use of nanomaterials. This technology can be applied to aid in human health through a number of ways, in particular drug delivery. This is done through using nanoparticles, which provide a wide array of advantages over the fine particles typically found in traditional drugs on the market today. They work by mimicking the shape of various biological molecules, which in turn helps the drug reach its specific target faster and deliver a more effective response. This can be seen in the comparison of two common cancer drugs, traditional doxorubicin and doxorubicin liposomal, also known as doxal. The nanoparticle form of the drug has been shown to deliver the medicine to its target tumor more accurately, leading to the protection of many vital organs and bodily systems that are at a much greater risk of being affected with the consumption of standard doxorubicin. Thank you for listening to our presentation, and we hope to see you again on the Demystifying Research channel.